friends, you all asked for it and I'm finally doing it. Here's part one of how I make my sticker displays. I use Song Mike's cube storage panels. They're just under 12 inches. His photo sleeves are also just 12 inches. Clear and double-sided tape, 12 inch colored cardstock or adhesive vinyl to make them pop. First I trim off this bit of the photo sleeves, making sure not to cut past the closure mark or the stickers will fall out. We need to trim the open top of the sleeve to fit the panel. This makes the top row good for smaller or shorter stickers. Next I prep my vinyl or cardstock, measuring it down to the size of the panel and adhering it to the panel. Almost all items I use are on Amazon. The list link is in my bio. If you choose cardstock, you can get it on Amazon, but I would suggest your local craft store. Now I move on to the sides. Again, we have to shorten it to fit the panel. I fold and tuck about an eighth of an inch off each side to take a total of a fourth inch off, which is about the size of the double-sided tape that I use to secure it. You could also cut strips of clear packing tape and use that instead. I double check it isn't wider than the panel or too short and move on. Using clear packing tape on the folded edges and the top center of the sleeve, I connect it to the panel. The top piece of tape assures that the sleeve won't fall over on itself. Getting it even is kind of a pain sometimes, but with the vinyl, it makes it a lot easier to unstick and restick. I tuck the small corners onto the back of the panel and secure it with tougher tape, like Gorilla Duct Tape. I use purple because branding. Not that anyone's gonna see it, but that's beside the point. I start with the two on the bottom because we'll need to cut the pockets down at the top before we do those. I cut small crescents out of the front layer of each pocket so it's easier for customers to grab their stickers. Going just under halfway seems to be the sweet spot. Now that I've cut those crescents out, I can tape down those little tabs on the back. I get a pretty smooth cut by just letting the scissors glide through the plastic, kind of like with wrapping paper. I also have a friend that uses a V cut, and that seems to work well for them as well. You just kind of have to feel it out. With that, you're now ready to put in some stickers. Repeat this process until you have enough panels for all of your stickers. Follow for part two and more Artistelli tips. Thanks for watching.